In this video, I'm going to show you how we set up substitute teachers in my classroom during distance learning. It's probably right now the best way for all classrooms and all schools to actually handle substitutes when a teacher is out. The substitute currently has not started the meeting, but any second now you'll see this video pop up right here where you will start the meeting for class. When a substitute starts a meeting in the substitute teacher channel, all students will get a notification that the substitute teacher has started the live class session. Then those students will join just like they would with their regular teacher for class today. So there you go. You see right here, he started the meeting. Before we go check out the substitute teacher in the classroom, let's go ahead and see how we set up this inside of Microsoft Teams. So you can see I posted a message to my students that they should be in the substitute teacher channel. You can see the substitute has actually started a meeting here. If I click there, here is the meeting, and you can see students are actually joining that meeting. This is the easiest way currently to have substitutes during virtual instruction. So how do you actually create this channel? You simply click on Add, click on Add Channel. You're going to type Substitute Teacher, which I already have one, so I'm just going to do Test. You want to make sure that you do automatically show this channel to everyone in the list. And then you're going to click add. Once you're in this channel, you want to click on new. You're going to do an announcement. I just did substitute teacher. Substitute teacher class days. And join the meeting below when you have a substitute teacher for Mr. Gant. And I'll simply post that in there. And then in the future, your substitute will be able to come here, click on meeting, meet now, and start the meeting. Now one thing, when you make your substitute teacher channel, you want to make sure you don't change your settings. So for a sub to be able to actually start a meeting, by simply going to here and meet now, you have to allow anyone to post on this substitute teacher channel. So that is by default, but some teachers come in up here, select manage channel, and you can see everyone can start a new post. That's the way a substitute can actually start a meeting. But if you turn on moderation, who are the moderators, team owners, who can start a new post? Only the moderators. That means only the teacher. So again, if you turn this on, that means no one else except for the teacher can post in the substitute channel. Well, you don't want that. So make sure you leave. By default, this is off. Make sure you leave this off. That way, when a substitute comes here, they can actually come here, click on Meet Now, and click Join and start the meeting. You can see that is exactly what they've done here. They are currently meeting, and I can actually join this, and students are actually joining. So let's see if I join this meeting. So if I click on Join, the meeting starts. You can see there's the substitute. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Leave Meeting, since this is a real live class meeting. Let me show you one more benefit to why you should have a substitute teacher channel. Teachers are able to communicate using their phone if they actually have the app on their phone with students if there is an issue. So let's go back to my class yesterday, period six. And if I click on substitute teacher channel, you can see there was a problem that the students did not see the substitute teacher meeting. So if I click on this, you can see here, I was communicating with my students using my phone. That way I can let them know where they're going. You can see you are in the right place. I will find out where the sub is. At that time, we were actually having lunch, so I told them to come back at 11.20. You could see they came back at 11.20. The sub is in the classroom, but see, I was able to communicate. I told everyone to stay here, I'm calling the school, and what happened was the Wi-Fi went out, he was joining, and then you can see down here, the substitute teacher started the meeting. So again, a great way to use substitute teachers during distance learning is to create a substitute teacher channel and simply have your substitutes create a meeting by going to meet now.